Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. Today, I want to show you about an experimental feature in Chrome that will really up your game when it comes to inspecting your CSS that you've written. So the way you enable it is you open up the inspector panel and then jump over here to settings. Now on the left, you're going to see experiments. So go ahead and look there and then check CSS overview. Now it does warn you here that they could be unstable. They may re require you to restart dev tools. So just as a heads up, you probably don't want to leave these on all the time, but uh, I think you'll see the benefit of this one automatically. So you close this down. It's going to require you to reload dev tools and I've done that. And now it puts the CSS overview tab up here with the other tabs. You can rearrange this wherever you want. Uh, let's just leave it here. What I'm going to do is come to this site that I built out. I don't think I've ever done this on the channel. I'll show you a little bit more about it in a second. But you click Capture Overview, and what it does is it looks through all your CSS and it tells you a bunch of things. So notice here it tells you how many elements you have, how many different style sheets you have, if you have any inline style elements. That's really helpful to know, especially if you're like picking up an old project and trying to remember why stuff's working the way it is. You've got style rules, class selectors, different media queries. And then they break down all the colors you have, including your fill colors, your border colors, your text colors. And then if you have any contrast issues, they'll show you that. And I'll show you that in a second here. Uh, next, let's look here at the font info. And you can also click down here to jump through this. They tell you all the different font sizes you have, the style or the font family. If you have any unused declarations, this would be super helpful for like a larger site. If you have a bunch of stuff that you wrote and then refactored and kind of left it there in your code, this is a great way to catch all of that. And it'll also show you your media queries. Now you can click on any of these and jump straight to the section in your style sheet like this so that you can fix it or change it or just look at it more closely. So I think this is great. It's super easy to work with. Uh, if you want to reload it for any reason, you can just click this and then capture it again. Um, now, I haven't found a way to make it capture everything. So like, for instance, this is a hero menu where you come in here and you like, I don't know, click on this and another one comes in. I haven't done this on the channel yet because I, I never got it responsive. And I don't know, I kind of hate these as UX things. So I figured if I couldn't do it right, I wasn't going to do it. But I don't know if you're really interested, let me know. And I, I might spend a little time and get it up to snuff. Now, when I've got this open, I'm not seeing anything extra in here that is connected to this being open. And I've tried to like change stuff around and add unused declarations. And I don't know. So it may just be because it's experimental or maybe I don't understand it. There's just not a lot on it. They have like literally a half page on the Chrome Dev Tools explaining it. Uh, you can come in here and like I can click this 34 occurrences and you'll see every single time that that is used. That's that's font size is used. That's super helpful um, if you're trying to scan through your site and making sure that your typography is consistent like you'd like it to be. All right, so we've done that. I've shown you how to use it. Now let's go roast something I've done before. So um, this is my coding in public site. I kind of threw this up quickly when I started to get a little bit more traffic thanks to uh, Net Ninja posting one, uh, a series that I did, which I'm super grateful for. Um, but I've got some fun stuff in here. In fact, there's uh, some little Easter eggs. There's one. I'll leave you to find some other Easter eggs here. Um, but let's go over to my live projects. And in here, these are some larger projects I've done. And uh, if you jump into any of these, like this live example right here, uh, you'll see that um, this is one I did on my channel recently. And then I've got a little link out here to the YouTube and the code um, that you can look at on all of these as well. All right, let's go ahead. And I haven't looked at any of these, so who knows? Let's see what I messed up. All right, so if I capture the overview here, uh, you're going to see colors. Okay, so here's some contrast issues. They don't like this. And they're actually telling you which checks it passes. So this passes kind of the basic check for both of these. None of these pass any of the checks. So this would be something I would need to refactor um, to make sure that it works. So that's good to know. And I can click on these, and it shows me every single instance where it's used. That's pretty cool. All right, so I come down here. Let's see if there's any unused declarations, anything else that might be interesting. No unused declarations, no media queries. OK, so that would be just be color changes I would need to make. All right, let's come into this blog post layout and see what this is like. This is another one I did recently on my channel. Uh, it's just kind of a basic blog post. Again, you can jump out to the code or the YouTube right there. Let's jump in here, though, and see what's going on. OK, so I've got text issues here. Doesn't like the white on the orange. And no unused declarations. It's got several media queries. And again, I can jump into any of these. OK, so another color issue. Speaking of Net Ninja, here's the one I did on his channel. So let me open this up. 
and I've got this on dark mode. Let's come in here and capture it and see if I messed up anything really. We've got some more contrast issues. Looks like most of these pass the basic check, um, but not the more stringent one. And let's see, no unused declarations. All right, so everything else looks good there. And let me change it to light mode and see what that does. So let's do it again. Does it change anything? Yeah, okay, so I've got a lot, a lot more contrast issues. It hates all these. So it looks like I need to be a little bit more careful on uh, the contrast that I choose. Uh, you can also get some of this contrast stuff by going to Lighthouse as well. All right, well, hopefully that gives you a sense of how to use this. I won't go and roast every project I've ever done so that you'll actually keep watching videos. Um, but I hope this has been a help for you. And go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think of it. But thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.